Welcome back you guys, my name is Gamer Boy and today's game we're gonna be playing is called Little Big Planet PS3. Last week I know I did a Little Big Planet episode, but that was for the PSP and everything. But this week I'm gonna be going and doing the PS3 version. I'm gonna sort of stop um Devil May Cry just because no one has been actually watching that one. That one. So I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna go and do this one. I get. I understand that this is different from the PSP version, but not from not a lot. But I and I am playing on someone else's account, so I do apologize if the name is different and everything. But anyway, I will be playing the Little Big Planet PS3. I will be not completing Little Big Planet PSP just because. That one is a little bit harder for me to do just because of I have to set everything up. It's not really easily easily available for me. I have to actually set up the equipment and everything and I can only do it once in a while. But I want to do this as a series so I have to do this and everything. So I do apologize on that. And But anyway, I will be playing Little Big Planet and here and everything. And I do apologize for my voice cracks. I just um, did just wake up and everything so I do apologize I'm doing it really early in the morning because I have a lot of stuff I have to do today so I'm doing it really early in the morning so I do apologize but I may switch over to my original account just because I have completed up to a certain point I never completed the game completed the game so yeah I may just play that after this but I don't know for sure And I do apologize that there's no sound or anything, but I have to have no sound just because it may be copyrighted and everything. So, I do apologize on that. But, the game's really fun, as I said in on the PSP version. This was like my third game I got for it. Got for the um, PS3. The first two you probably already know is like Kingdom Hearts and everything. Kingdom Hearts is like one of the games that I got like first and second. Like, yeah. That's cool. Okay. Come on. What? There's a secret here? What, what, what do I do? Okay, I don't care anymore. Let's just get continue going. Okay. I didn't realize how weird it is without the music, but yeah. I will be adding my own, so you guys won't be hearing it without music, but I will, so I do apologize. Now, you probably want to look stylish and sexy as you're gadding about Little Big Planet. So you need to know how to get your kit on. Or how to put your glad rags on. Press I'm gonna, the menu. I'm not gonna show you guys this just because it will be it yeah. No, it just I'm not gonna show you that just because there's gonna be a lot. Okay. It's time to shake things up a bit. If you tilt the wireless controller you're holding, you can animate yourself. Press the left stick to alternate between moving your head and your pelvis. You can change your sack person's expressions too, using the directional buttons. Come on then, give us a little smile. Press the up button. Go on. There, see, you're happy. Press the down button and you'll become down. Look at that, a face like a smacked bottom. Press the left button and you go all worried. <gasps> what was that? Press the right button and you get all cross and tough. By holding down the limb buttons, you can use the sticks to control your arms. Yes, you can stop being mean and moody now. We're all very impressed. Oh, that's why I cannot move because that was going okay. Your pod 
is a cross between your bedroom and your first shed. It's the place you'll chill out in between adventures and excursions, and you can have it exactly the way you want it. The controller, that thing back there, is your pod computer, your inventory and access device. Switch it on by standing in front of it and pressing the menu button. If you were to stand on Little Big Planet and try to imagine a more astounding, fantastic and creative place full of enthralling adventures, uncanny characters and brilliant things to do, you couldn't. All imagination is here and what you do with it all is entirely up to you. Build new levels and expand the environment. Collect the many and varied tools and objects to make your mark on this world. Just simply enjoy the people and puzzles they've set. Little Big Planet is the manifested embodiment of your perfect dream world. So let fly your imagination with just a touch of the action button. Well, you're not backward at coming forward. You've gone to meet one of the creator curators. They tend and maintain Little Big Planet when you're awake. This one is the King of the Gardens. Press the action button to see what he's got for us today. Okay, before I do anything, I do have to say that this is the um, Game of the Year edition of Little Big Planet, so there is going to be a little bit more that I can do in this. I didn't download anything, this is just straightly off of the Game of the Year one. I may have downloaded some free stuff, but I have not bought anything for the game, so this is all Game of the Year stuff like levels and stuff and all the bonus content on the disc is just game of the year edition stuff so yeah so let me just do this what it is says a little big planet seal no don't give it a fish it's not that kind of seal it's a badge a map reference if you like to indicate somewhere wonderful a creator curator has made for you select with your action button and explore Yeah, I won't be playing with anyone and I know that I may later on when I may do the PS3 version and everything just because um, I want to see what you got. Yeah, I may do the PS3 version of Little Big Planet and everything just the user created levels just because the levels are a little bit better and everything and I'm not going to read the story just because this does not go by a linear story to where every world is a story that's like Little Big Planet 2 is. I, it is like Little Big Planet 2 is like Little Big Planet 1, but it has a story in Little Big Planet 2, so it starts having a story and everything. So, yeah, this doesn't have a story or anything. It tries to stick with the. Hey, it's get out of my face! where you can store all of your favorite bits and bobs in one easy-to-find place. To add something, just press the menu button whilst you're hovering over an item or tool in pocket, and an extra little menu will appear. From here, you can heart it, which will automatically add it to this page. Marvelous. Okay, okay, I don't need to hear everything that you say. But yeah, this game is really fun and everything. I wish I could show you and you know, let you listen to the music, but I can't because of, of copyright stuff. But this is what I have to do if I want to play Little Big Planet for you. And I do apologize if you guys don't like it. It's just that I I would show you the music and it, and show you what Little Big Planet is. It's just that copyright and everything. I'm not allowed to. But anyway, yeah. It's a good thing I am doing it now and not when I originally wanted to because when I originally wanted to you guys it was like way way before like I got any views and it was like one of the starter games I wanted to do and it's a good thing that I didn't want to start it then because I would have just been horrible at the game meaning that I would my commentary would not be a hundred percent so I'm glad I'm doing it when I'm doing it. And yes, I know, these are costumes that I can wear. 
but I'm not gonna wear any costume because the costume I like, I don't get into Little Big Planet 2. And in Little Big Planet 3, I can at least continue wearing it. Okay, it's telling me, this is just telling me to do this. So, yeah. I don't care, Bird. Get on my face. Okay. Okay, good. I don't care. Yes, I know I have to give him clothes. Let me fit this onto there. And then let me sh fit some shoes onto this guy. Hey, get out of my way. I hate when the, that happens. It's a good, it's a cool idea, but sometimes it just gets in the way. Okay. Are you doing anything? Oh yeah, I have to wait for you. Okay, let, let's just continue going. I don't really have the PlayStation camera, so I can't really do that part, but... Yeah. Come on! This part is very... I wish you could skip all of this and just continue on. Dance! Dance party! Woo! Yes. See, if you look down there, it's um, me. I'm Plaza 600, so I have played this before. It's just I'm not gonna really... I really don't care on what I get or not because it really doesn't you're very impressive you must have visited little big planet in your dreams many times before have you well you can either retread your steps and improve your score or visit this new place you've discovered use the left stick to choose whichever option floats your boat What? Oh yeah, and that voice sounds very familiar. I don't know what I've heard him from, but I've heard him from a video game prior to Little Big Planet, and I don't know what. But I yeah. But anyway, let's just continue on with this because it's not gonna be like a really short episode because I do have time to play. Okay, these levels take forever to load. Okay, good. <laughs> and I know. Okay, okay, good. Yes, I, I know how to do this. Ah, get this. Okay, good. Now push this over to here. And now I, we have over here. Okay. Come on, seriously? It's not doing anything. Thank you. Okay, come on, seriously, I have to now push it over to here. That's not fair, but it is sort of fair. But anyway, let's see what happens if I put the- Get out of my face! Get out of my face, camera! I hate when the camera does that and you can't zoom it out because it wants you to do exactly because it thinks you're editing yourself but you're really not you just accidentally press the button wait yeah I only have the star so I can't I don't have the star so I can't do the star one ride the pony or ride the horse or what at least I'm not tasting the rainbow I don't care if I know what to do. I've done this before. And I'm sorry if it seems like I'm rushing or anything. It's not like that at all. It's just that this game is sort of not long like other games. Just because there's no like cutscenes or anything like that. So it's all like based on what, how fast you can do the level. But you know how fast you and good you can do the puzzles because there are like a lot of puzzles in this 
and all that so yeah it's all based on if you can do the puzzle or not and if you can't then that's okay but you still have to learn how to do it before you can progress and everything so yeah and anyway it's also wanting you to like explore and all that but because I've already played this before it's like I know where most things are so then it's like well the game well you know what where you're going so you really don't need so so I understand the game wants you to go and explore and everything but because I already have explored before it it makes it no sense on why I should explore because I I know where every nook and cranny not every nook and cranny but I should explore in some levels but in other levels it's just like weird but I wish I could turn on the sound for you guys the sound okay see ser seriously come on and this way Geronimo Geronimo okay monkey head okay if you if you guys want me to I will be playing uh, if you guys want me to I will play a little bit of planet 3 if you guys want me to that one will be for the ps4 and everything and all that okay come on I can get that ah okay just gonna continue going this way for some reason it's not allowing me to do what I want to but let me see if there's anything on this tree like I will be doing the story of Little Big Planet 3 if you want me to. I'm not gonna do Little Big Planet 2 just because, un unless you guys want me to do Little Big Planet 2, then then I will. Just based on what you guys want me to do, I will do that. Okay, seriously, I'm just gonna kill myself right now just because. Yeah, and yeah, I know this one doesn't have infinity lives, unlimited lives, but it's still. I still know what I'm doing, so killing myself once isn't gonna hurt my score and hurt my um ch hurt my chances or anything. And I know that's a key to another level. Everyone who has seen my PSP ver game of the Little Big Planet ha ha has already known. And anyway, this is a pretty old game, so okay, okay. I know I can. Okay, what do I have to do? Oh yeah, I have to put a tail on that cre on the creature. Let's put it where a tail should go. Okay. I'm glad that they did Little Big Planet the way they did and not the other way because the way that they were thinking of doing it was really weird. So I'm glad they did Little Big Planet the way they did it. Holding on for dear life because I know it's going to happen. Geronimo! Woo! This is more epic with this music, so. Yeah. This is more epic with the music, but. I do apologize if if I keep mentioning the music, but I, on my end, I don't hear music. On your guys' end, I will be adding music, so yeah. Okay. Come on. Woo! Dance party! Woo! Oops. Dance party! Woo! Okay, let's continue. Nice bit of exploring there, my little chum. Hey, I just had a look at your pod, and you might want to decorate it now. Make it home. Put a bit of your personality into it. Or something classy instead. Go nuts. Tap the back button a couple of times to disengage from the pod computer, and use your poppet to begin the decorative proceeding. Yeah, 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 I can do that. But anyway, I'm going to try doing this first. The loading in this game is very slow. I don't know if it's me, my PS3, or what, but it's very slow. Okay, let's just do this. 
Okay, this so this is all it has. It has me jumping up and doing this. This isn't really hard. You just have to time it correctly. And if you have ever played a game like um, Bit Trip Runner or one of those Endless Runners games, then you'll know what to do because they do go really pretty fast. They go pretty fast, so and everything. So it's like you don't have a problem with it if you know what you're doing because it's like. All you have to do is jump and you can do it. It's not really hard, so if you ever, ever played an endless runner, then this is going to be like a piece of cake for you because you'll learn what you need to do from doing the endless runner. Like, you need to jump before it gets down because you need to be at your peak of height when it gets below you, so then you can just drop immediately. So, it's not really that difficult, it's just all in the timing. You could do this pointlessly forever and never lose. Because you could just continuously press the X button and you will automatically win. Okay. Okay, I need to concentrate. Need to. Need to. Need to. Concentrate. A little bit. On this, I'm going really pretty fast here. I can do it. I can do it. No, nah, man. I moved, so it messed me up. Want, 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 want. Why? 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 But anyway, you guys, I'm just, yeah. That was very pointless of a level, but anyway. I simply must tell you how satisfyingly useful the start menu is. There's so many fabo things it allows you to do, such as replay videos you've unlocked, or tinker and fine-tune settings and the like. Have a fiddle, it's perplexingly simple to use. Just click the start button and you're away. Okay, you guys, I will be going now just because I've done a lot in this and everything. And I don't want to do too much in one episode, so I'm just going to go and everything. But that was a little bit planned for PS3 and everything, so I hope you guys like it. I know you like the PSP version, but tell me what you like about this version and everything. But... I hope you guys do like the PS3 version and everything because I will be playing the PS3 version. If you like the PSP version better, then I will try to do that one. But I'm not going to guarantee just because I it's a little bit harder to set up and everything. But I hope you guys do like the PS3 version. But anyway, I'm just going to go. So... If you like this video, hit that like button. If you want more videos by me, give me a point. Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all guys in the next... Woo!